In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use nothing more than Lens Studio in the Asset Library to create this nice little um, React style lens where the user can choose a picture or video and then it displays their face and the user can position it as they wish. All right, so I'm gonna start off by adding a screen image. And so that will create a new orthographic camera. And I'm going to rename this to background. This is going to be our user uploaded image or video. And then for the texture, we want to use the media picker. So in the resources panel, I'm going to come in here and I'm not going to choose from image picker. I'm going to choose from media picker. And this will let the user choose both a video or photos. And if you select this, uh, you can change that restriction if you want. All right, so I'm going to choose this background image again and the texture. Let's swap that out for media picker. And I want to change the stretch modes to fill. So this will fill the screen without stretching the image. And so if someone has like a landscape photo or something, uh, we can switch this to horizontal modes and you can see that the image is not stretched. It fills the whole thing. Now I don't have any horizontal photos here. So that's why I changed the simulator. All right. So we have our background. Um, it works with video, works with images. Uh, but now let's add the person's head above so they can kind of explain what they've uploaded. So I'm going to uh, select my orthog orthographic camera and add a new screen image. I'm going to call this face. And I want the texture to just be the user's face. So instead of trying to like track their face from the device camera texture, I'm going to come to the resources panel and not add the face texture. I want the face crop texture. So now I can set the texture over here, to the face crop texture, and there's the user's face. Now having your face just like smack dab in the middle isn't like very ideal for showing what's behind. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of scale this down. And then I'm going to move it up here. Now that's a little better, but let's go ahead and add some polish with the asset library. So I'm going to open this up. And the first thing I'm going to do is I want to search for some opacity textures. Now I know that these are in here because I've kind of browsed through. Uh, so I'm going to search for opacity and I'm going to choose the opacity textures collection. I'm going to click import and then don't close this window while it's still importing. Once it flashes green, you should be good. Uh, sometimes if you close this, it'll crash. Uh, so I'm going to use that to just turn this face into a circle, uh, make it look a little nicer. Then I'm also going to add the manipulate component. So you can search for manipulate and I've already installed it. Now this is a component, uh, so you don't need to import it into every project. The opacity textures you do because they're um, like texture resources, but the custom components, uh, once it's installed, uh, you'll have it. So you can look at all the custom components here. Uh, but when these are imported, you don't see anything here, but I'll show you where you can find those. Uh, so just make sure you grab the manipulate 2D. All right, now to add the opacity texture to the face image, I need a new material. So I'm just going to come in here and grab an unlit material. And then I'm going to set that material on this image. Let's drag that over. So it'll go white. That's fine. I'm going to select my material. For the texture, we want that face crop texture. I'll turn on the opacity texture and I'll come into the opacity textures collection resources. I'm going to choose the circle mask. You can do a different shape if you want, or you can also create your own mask and you'll see no circle as because you need to change the blend modes to normal. Now I have a nice circle around the user's face. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the image again and I'm going to add a component. Now this is where you will see those custom components. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, uh, nearly to the bottom, uh, here are your custom components. So there's some of the machine learning ones here. I'm gonna grab this manipulate screen transform. Now you'll see it has a bunch of options. So you can drag it, rotate, scale, uh, bring the front. Uh, I think we'll just keep it in the front of everything else. Uh, so you can disable any options you want, but now if I click, I can drag this around. And when it's on my phone, I can pinch to scale or uh, use two fingers and twist to rotate. And so this is a really easy way to add like a little extra level of polish. Rather than just sticking the user's face somewhere in a box, we've made a circle, uh, we've added this manipulate component. So now you can choose uh, whatever image you want, put your face wherever. And we've made a really nice, simple lens without having to use any external software. All we had to use was the asset library.